All right, guys, welcome back to another video. So from here on out, we're going to have to use Unreal Engine 5.4. I have found solutions to all the problems in there. And it seems like some things have changed slightly, which was preventing the fine slot location from working in 5.4. Uh, that problem with motion warping, that was uh, an oversight on my part. So I don't know how I kept overlooking that in 5.4, but motion warping works fine in 5.4. Uh, the ability to select slots and enable and disable them uh, is just not there in 5.3. It hasn't been exposed. So if you're using Windows 11, go to show, uh, right click on the uh, uProject file and go to show more options and go to switch Unreal Engine version and switch over to 5.4 uh, if you have it. If you want to wait until 5.4 is officially released, then you can. But really, this is just a learning experience. So I would advise just going ahead and following along. So just press OK. And after you've done that, you can open the project like normal. And it should open it on 5.4. Now there, there's going to be some problems and I don't know what I did here. That was, I keep pressing some button and it, and it keeps doing this. I don't know why it's doing that though. Let's see. Um, there we go. So I'm just going to dock this stuff over here on the side. So the first thing you'll notice is whenever we play this, the character will not go anywhere. And I'm going to walk you guys through this. So let's go to the, I'm going to go to edit. Because we're going to need to uh, modify this right here. We are going to need, no, we're not going to need to begin play either. But we will need to open up the smart object definition and open up the state tree right here. <clears throat> and where is the debugger stuff? Debugger. So if we press this button and we press play, let's see. Let's open, uh, let's open up this and open up this state tree as well. So we need to reset this. It got cleared. That's okay. First compile on the bench one too, just to make sure there aren't any problems with that one. And now when you press play, you'll see he still doesn't move. And you'll see that we do get an execution on the bench this time. If you didn't get it, stop it, press this uh, trace button, and then press play, and you should get it. It'll stop immediately. And it may bug out and not show anything. Just drag this little marker, and it'll uh, rubber band back to frame zero, but then you should be able to see this stuff here. And you'll see whenever it tried to enter the state, move to entrance which is this one right here. It tried to find the slot entrance location, but it failed. Now I wish they were a little bit more clear as to uh, why it fails inside of here. But if you come over here to your uh, log, you'll see it says there's a warning here on the smart object and it says uh, in it as an initialization Invalid validation filter for user actor, BP third person character. So let's see. I want to show you guys uh, something here. And so I'm going to go into the NPC state tree and task, and I'm just going to open up one of these tasks. And I'm going to create a variable 
because you won't find this anywhere else. This is how I figured out what it was. But if we do, if we make this a smart object, let's see, entrance, yeah, smart object slot entrance location, you'll see there's a tooltip here. And it says if the user is, user actor is not a, let's see, when used with actor, it is generally enough to get the user actor, in that case, navigation data validation filter and user capsule are queried via the iNav agent interface and use smart object user component, right? Okay, so if the user actor is not available with mass, then validation filter and user capsule must be defined. So basically, I don't, <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't really completely understand, but it boils down to this. We have to define a validation filter right here. And so if we press this button here and we come over here, let's see, put it under the NPC state tree. And I'll just say, I'll just call this the uh, smart object slot validation filter. I'm not going to name it. It's not really that important, but I don't really think we need to set any of this stuff here. It just needs a, uh, a filter to be set in general. And you could use navigation uh, capsule size and you could set your radius and height and step height and if you move your cursor over this stuff it'll give you specifics as to what this stuff is for and it's pretty informative so it's not going to tell you anything that i mean i'm not going to be able to tell you anything that it can't tell you so basically though we just need a validation filter so now we have a smart object slot filter and now Whenever we run this, it should run successfully. And so now it's working like it was before. And so now we can continue fixing all these other problems like with the slot and the slot entrances. So that's what we're gonna do in the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we will begin uh, implementing multiple entrances and will set up lo logic that allows us to enable and disable uh, these slots. And I'll see you in the next video.